In this tutorial, I'll show you how to generate transparent video with subtitles using the cut option in Subtitle Edit. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, I feel that the cut option in the generate transparent video with subtitles is a game changer, especially if you're a freelancer and you want to submit a video with, uh, that is transparent video with subtitles for a client to review or maybe somebody you're working with. You don't have to generate transparent video for the whole video. So let's go and open. I'll show you how it works. And I'm using a beta version uh, of Subtitle Edit. Uh, Subtitle Edit 4.0.7 Next Beta 90. And the reason for this is so that we can all test these beta versions out before the official version is released. Now, I'll go to video, open a video file, this video, and I already have the subtitle for that video. So I'll just go to file, open keep video, click on the subtitle I want, and then click on open. Now everything is ready for me to generate uh, a transparent video with subtitles. So I'll go to video, generate transparent video with subtitles. And from this interface, you can make a couple of options. For example, you can change the font size, the outline, the opaque box, how you want them to look. And once you do that, always make sure you click on preview to see how your subtitles are going to look like. Now, let's just close the preview. And then let's assume we want to go with a different font like Arial. So we go with Arial MT. And then uh, we can decide to do it with the opaque box, but just bump up uh, the font size to about, let's say we uh, go with uh, 70, 70. And then click on preview. And this is what your subtitles are going to look like. Now, I'm hopeful that we'll get a preview version that shows us uh, what we're doing in real time, uh, not, without the need of clicking the preview button all the time. And I'm saying this because it's already in the generate bandings, uh, banding video with subtitles feature. Hopefully someday we'll get this. Now, I've set everything there uh, as I want it to be. Uh, you can see the video resolution is 1920 by 1080. And the extension of the video is going to be in .mp4. Now, we're using the cut option here. So I'll click on cut. In the cut option, there are two options. The first three dots are for selecting the in point for the video. The second option is for selecting the in point for the subtitle. This is for the out point for the video, out point for the subtitle. Now, the first uh, step is if you want to select from the video, I'll just click on three, three dots. It's going to pull up my video I can adjust, and I can just click wherever I want right there. Let's assume it's that section. That's my in. And then you can also use these uh, uh, buttons here to see three seconds, half a second and so on. I'll click on OK. And once I do that, you'll notice we have two seconds here. If I click on this one to set the out point, so you can already see the in point is set. I'll click on somewhere here to set my out point and then click on OK. And you can see your out point is going to be set. And everything is that. And that is for the using, cutting using the video option. So if you're ready, you can just click on generate and it's going to prompt you uh, to save. Let's say video cut. And then you can save in whatever format, uh, but mostly go with MOV so that it's going to be accepted in many uh, video editing applications. Just click on save. And for those few seconds, they're going to be generated. I can check out what is going on. And yes, I know it's way, way begun and it does not end at the end. Now, that feature is good, but the issue with that feature is that you're guessing when more or less the subtitle begins or ends. You can cut anywhere in between. But for, uh, for better finesse uh, feature here, using the in point for the subtitle and the out point for the subtitle is the best option I'd recommend. So I'll click on this. And from here, you can see your subtitle line. So for example, if I go with line number two and click OK, it's going to go to the same seconds here and then go to this one and say we go to this particular line here. Click on OK. It's going to go to second number 11. Now, I'll click on generate. It's going to prompt me to save. 
and say subtitle in and out and then save as mp4 uh, mov that is and then click on save and it's going to be generated now there we go it's right here for review so we it began there mm -hmm. and it ended somewhere there so the reason for using the subtitle in is that you get a better more or less the in and out where the subtitle exactly begins so even if you're reviewing a particular section with a client then it's very very easy to pinpoint where an issue is or where an issue needs to be addressed so that is how you can generate transparent video with subtitles using the cart functionality always remember to check this if you don't check it and you set your times it's still going to generate or re-encode the whole video but once you do this then uh, the different options are going to be applied as you have set uh, also something else you can do you can go with selected lines uh, which is uh, a really awesome feature as well uh, but please make sure that when you're doing this uh, or using the card feature to always make sure this checkbox is set i hope this video is of value to you thanks for watching